Is it a good idea to set up a COI to look into specific incidents, mm -hmm. such as the Yunlong 721 incident and the Prince Edward 831 incident? Well, that question has been very well covered just now. And I don't think there's really very much I, I can add to it. Exactly what I've been uh, considering, first of all, the terms of reference and how wide is the scope, how limited is the scope, is it to investigate individual suspected crimes committed by individual members of the police force over a period of six months? Now, when you talk about police brutality, I mean, it's a meaningless term. The police is a generic term embodying 30-odd thousand men. Now, you're not saying that 30,000 men are brutal. So when you talk about police brutality, you're really isolating specific instances where it is alleged that uh, more than reasonable force has been exercised in discharging their compulsory duty. Don't forget the police are a disciplined force under orders, and they're dealing with violent criminals who are violently resisting arrest. So what degree of force you might reasonably exercise in order to achieve the object of arrest, I mean, is, is of course open to debate. I mean, one thing is sure, you need force. They're not going to come and say, ah, hola, I mean, have you heard any of them saying that? 